All right, so to start, let's bring in the base geometry. Now what I've done is I have a new file here using millimeters. So I'll go uh, also create a new file here in Grasshopper. And what we'll be using today for our base geometry is a circle. So just bring in a circle component and use this circle where I can just plug in a radius. So let me change the radius and I'll just say 100. In this radius, we can use uh, for the circle. We can change this around, of course. Next is we need to subdivide this circle using points. So let's go to a divide component. Use divide curve. We don't want to use either one of these, but we do want to use divide curve. This way, we can have a number of divisions using points. So now let's. Uh, create a custom slider from 1 to, to 9. Why? Because I want to use the numbers uh, that don't repeat because from 9 on it's just a multiplication of 5 um, and so I typically use this and then we can use a multiplier if we want to. Um, so that's something else we could do here is even bring in a multiplication and say uh, if we have divisions of 2, say 1.5, and use this as our slider. But I'll keep this at. So if we multiply by 1, we know that it'll keep it the same. Go to our minimum being 1, and our maximum being 10. Now let's divide the count. And we actually will not use a range of numbers, we'll just use whole numbers. Okay. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and divide and connect those lines. Now that we have more points here, let's bring in a line component. And I like to use the line component where we have a start and end point and plug in both into the start and end points. Now you'll see nothing will happen until you right click here and then go to graft. And you'll see that we'll have all of these lines connecting to all the points. And we can increase our number here and increase our multiplication. But this is more of like a multiplier. So four, eight, as you can see, they're more like harmonics if you can see them that way. Uh, now if we do change it to decimal points, you'll see that this will also change it, but it won't change it in that step. So I like to just keep it at one for now and we can always change that. Now with the circle uh, and the divisions, now let's go ahead and have show some patterns and how simple we can start creating some sacred geometry just by using this. So let's go to these points and let's bring in the Voronoi uh, component and see what happens if we just plug in these points. All it does, it's going to create a pi. But if we take these lines and we divide them, and we say divide by curve again, and we'll bring in a count, you can change that count once again divided by 2 or even just get the midpoint so that's the other thing go to that let's do midpoint of this one and add those points to Voronoi and now I do want to make a video about Voronoi and how it's actually not a pattern it's a process so let's for now I'll add this input holding down shift and as you can see we already have something interesting okay. uh, one way to get this uh, fixed is you can go to points and we can merge both of these points do this one flatten it and plug in the points here now we for some reason this one still gives us kind of this orange um, 
saying that there is a warning going on. Um, that could be that there is no boundary, things like that. Um, let me see if we can... This component called union sometimes allows us to just merge those two sets into one. It's basically the same thing. We'll just use this one for now. But as you can see, it creates a really cool set of points and a cool pattern. Just simply using seven, six, five, divide them for This is using just connecting all the lines and the midpoints. Now, if we want to further divide this, we can take all of these points and we can explode them. So let's go back here, change this back down to like, um, I guess six is fine. And we can take all of these and explode all of these and get the points. So we have vertices, 177. I like to use coal duplicate duplicates and plug in the vertices into the points. As you can see, we have in the input 177, in the output 144. So it's already reduced it by a lot. But if I flatten it, you'll see that it'll further consolidate all those points into only the ones that are not redundant. So initially 177, and we end with 54 which we can once again use our Voronoi pattern and plug in all of those points in. So this is more of like a fun pattern finding slash sacred geometry just by using simple numbers. this so it's just some fun that as you can see, we can have just with some of this stuff. I'll take this, disable preview, and I'll bring this back. Now, the other thing that can be done is taking, instead of the midpoint, using divide, and we can just divide this curve into three points. And those points then become the Voronoi points. Now let's flatten the input and disable preview. And once again, we have very detailed patterns that are 100% accurate just from using very, very basic numbers. So let's disable the preview on all this stuff. Come back here into points. change this around a little bit. Of course, you can always change this different patterns using more complex. Um, the more divisions you create out of these lines, so all it's doing is taking these lines and dividing them into a number of them, which then ultimately creates that pattern. So let's this back, disable preview.
So hopefully you found that useful. Um, and for me, one of the times that I learn the most is when I am having fun. So this is just something sometimes that I have some ideas and kind of throw them up um, and show you guys some of the process. Now, for the Voronoi cells, it is important to have a bounding box. So this is where I use this circle. Then bring in a box component. And that just gives me the outer boundary of that. Now I know that there's four planes in here, so I just have to go to list item. So deconstruct, rep, then item, list item. I'll grab one of the faces and I'll use that face as a boundary. And so no matter how big this gets, that's the size of the crop. Now radius, play around with that. That gives another level of, gives you the radius of where it's or it's the center point of the Voronoi pattern. So let's go here to 20. And even that it's kind of, you know, can create some cool, cool geometries here. So I'll have this in the YouTube video section of my uh, website. And if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. If you enjoyed this content, I'll be posting more videos like this one. Uh, so make sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you all next time.